Okay, it's uh, the next day. It's 8.20 in the morning. Sun's coming up. And we're just starting to get the sun hitting the panel. It's got a little layer of frost on it. The charge controller on the left is for the entire top row of panels. Charge controller on the right is the bottom row of panels. And there are three sets of four on each of those. Each panel is 345 okay, watts. this is interesting. Uh, it's about 8.35 and this is the first time this has ever happened. I think we're over voltage on something. And the, that's the top row of panels. We got 190, 191 a minute ago. 191 volts and it's because the frost has just melted off the top of those panels and they're getting a lot of sun coming in and it is freezing. So cold temp, high sun, and they may have, of course 190 volts is not too high for this. FO3, I have to look that up. Bottom row is still good, but let's see what kind of voltage you got there. 166 volts, but it's still got frost on it. goes okay so now it's 850 and I've got faults on both rows the bottom and the top so that fault 03 is an over voltage due to cold weather um, so it's freezing today okay so the problem with solar when it freezes is that it produces too much power it produces more power when it's cold and that's a good thing but it also, the voltages increase. So if you don't size your array properly, you can exceed the max voltages and the system uh, can either cut off or be damaged. So that's what happened in my case. I got this uh, fault 03, high PV input fault. The PT controller turned off and stopped producing power to the batteries because a very high PV voltage, greater than 187, has been detected on the PV input terminals. This is usually caused during cold weather if the PV array voltage is sized too high or too close to the maximum PT input operating voltage. Okay, so we see here that for, uh, for this system, the high voltage open circuit can go as high as 240 volts for a 48 volt system, but it's designed to cut out at 187 just to protect the system. Okay. So when I was looking at the specs for this, we see the max PV here is 200 plus the battery voltage or 240, whichever is lower. So I went with the 240, but right under that says, hey, the maximum operating voltage is 187. And what they mean by that is it's gonna turn off at 187 to protect itself. Okay, so let's go to this guy. So this is what I use to, when I, actually sized my system. So I've got you know my PV data for this panel that I used. This is the array data. This is like the combined system based on how many you put in series and parallel. The controller data and you see the 240 that I used when I designed this. That's the max. And I also included temperature data like the coldest day ever here. My area was minus 12 degrees and at that temperature you get 212 volts open circuit on the collector. So 212 is less than 240 by 27, and that was the worst case scenario ever. So I figured that was okay. Uh, and for my situation here, it only freezes like this maybe three or four, maybe five days a year, and it only cuts off for about half an hour. So you're looking at downtime of two or three hours a year. So I wouldn't go and cut this to like, you know, yeah, if I went to three panels in series, it's going to be way under. But yeah, you'd, you'd lose a ton of power by only having nine panels instead of 12. So, but for your area, uh, you might want to consider this. Uh, if it's going to be really cold often, then you should probably design your system to stay under 187 under the worst case scenario. Okay, so that's uh, something to think about. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.